Power drills are common electronic devices that contain a various number of parts. For this product case study, three distinct manufacturing processes will be discussed using three separate components of the drill. The first part examined is the outer casing of the drill. The initial manufacturing process is believed to be injection molding of plastics. This is first evident by the numerous ejector pin marks located inside the casing. Although this part seems to have complex features, the metal mold used for injection molding could have easily been created using CAD software in combination with a computer-controlled milling machine. This would allow for the precision and high aspect ratio of some of the smaller features located inside the drill's casing. The thin walls throughout the part also provide evidence of injection molding. An alternative process could be transfer molding because the complexity of the part compares to that of injection molding. Transfer molding also utilizes ejector pins, which is clearly evident. Both processes have high production rates, expensive tooling costs, and the ability to create complex shapes. However, better dimensional control could be the reason injection molding was utilized. The second part examined is the metal portion of the battery contact. The initial manufacturing process is believed to be sheet metal forming, or specifically, stamping and bending. The evidence here is the small uniform thickness of the part, the bends along a single axis, and the lightweight material used. The piece could have possibly been formed using a progressive die in which the initial rectangular shape was blanked from sheet metal, and then the simple geometric cut was punched. The next step would include the necessary bend operations in order to obtain the final shape. An alternative process could have been casting, due to the intricate shape and fine surface finish of the part. Either process would be a viable option. However, the decision is largely based on the initial cost and production rate. The final piece we have is the heat sink, and it appears to be made of aluminum. We believe it is made of aluminum because the piece is not only lightweight, but heat sinks require a material with good thermal conductivity. The heat sink appears to have ejection pin marks located on the top surface. The ejection pin marks and material type narrow the possibilities down to either die casting or powder injection molding. We believe it could be die casting due to the melting temperature of aluminum, and it is less likely to be powder injection molding due to the same low melting temperature. An additional process was needed for this part. The back appears to be completed using CNC and was ground to a fine finish. This is evident by the smooth surface of the bottom of the heat sink. <laughs>